Hi and welcome to another video by Couches Campers. Today we're looking at the newest 2011 Crossroads Zinger 31SB. I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you through the outside of this coach and then the inside of this coach. One of the first things you'll notice on the new version of the Zinger is the champagne front end. They've recolored the front instead of the typical white. They've now given it the champagne look. They have also done that to the rear of the coach and the sides of the slide outs. Up front here we have a hitch light mounted up nice and high. We have our diamond plate lower front half helping protect from rocks and debris. We've got a battery rack. We have two 30 pound propane bottles underneath this cover and this is the upgraded cover where you can just remove the top portion here and turn your bottles off and on. A lot of brands don't put that on there. We have our hitch jack up front which has the foot pad on it. We have our safety chains. We have our breakaway cable as well. We've also got our seven-way Bargman light hookup. One of the things you'll also notice on the front of the coach here is the three inch gutter extension sticking out. These help keep the water and debris from running down the sides, helping to lessen the black streaks. Also less water running down the side of the coach to help prevent leakage. You'll see a very large storage compartment across the front, pass through storage. And also, too, there is a laundry chute from inside. You can put a laundry basket down here and throw your dirty clothes right down into the basement area. We have heavy-duty scissor jacks on the corners of the coach. Got a very large awning. The Zinger doors are 30 inches wide. Also have the radius top helping protect the awning from tears. Some models are still using the old style square doors. We have triple entry step and there is a light at each entry that helps protect the people from tripping in the dark. We have our standard porch light up top, outside speakers, we have our stove exhaust, deep tent black frame safety glass windows, we have our large folding entry handle and one of the most important parts of the Zinger is the nice two-year hitch to bumper warranty. Most coaches in this RV industry only have a one-year bumper to bumper warranty. You'll also notice we have our freshwater tank fill right here. We have our furnace exhaust and our refrigerator access panel. And then we have outside electric outlets as well. We have the new secure wide stance axle system spreading the tires apart making it more stable as it travels down the road. This model has the outside kitchen. This gives you an outside refrigerator, sink, some cabinet space, nice little extension here. Then down here we also have our gas hookup for an outside grill. If you'd like to put an outside grill on the coach, that is an option as well. On the rear of the coach, you can see the new champagne color. We have our spare tire and mount. Also we have a 4 inch square tube bumper with a diamond plate cover over top of it. Giving a little extra style. We have our cable hookups. If you'd like to hook up cable TV to the coach, you can do so. This unit has two slide outs, one smaller one in the kids' bunk room, one larger one in the living room. In between the two slide outs, we have our outside utility shower. This has hot and cold water in it. We have our six gallon gas electric water heater. We've got our city water hookups and our pull out for our 30 amp power cord. Then down below here is where we dump our tanks. We have our black and gray tank dump right down here. On the large slide we have outside storage as well which is underneath the dinette section.
very large dinette window. Also, two of the slide outs are electric, individual buttons, and they are rack and pinion hydraulic or electric slide out systems. You'll notice the nice enclosed underbelly. Singer also uses an I beam frame, giving the coach just a little extra strength. I will take a few minutes and walk you through the inside of the coach. One of the first things you'll see walking in here is the new cocoa cherry wood. Really nice, rich looking counters. One of the new upgrades for the Zinger this year is actually full extending ball bearing drawer guides. This coach has the high rise kitchen faucet, also has the sink cover as well. You'll notice here at the doorway you have your interior light switch, porch light switch, large awning or large slide out button. You have your water pump switch, water heater on gas and water heater on electric switch, plus your monitors for checking your gray and black and fresh water tanks and your battery as well. This coach has a 16 inch Atwood oven with the three burner stove top. And also we put the upgraded range cover on it to help protect it as well. Give you a little extra counter space if needed. You have the range hood with a light and fan built into it. We have our high point microwave. Down below we have our electric box with our breakers and fuses and stuff in it. And beside that we have our propane leak detector. We have our six cubic foot gas electric Dometic refrigerator. Below the refrigerator is where the furnace is actually located. That furnace is ducted throughout the floor. Zinger uses plywood floors, 5 8 tongue and groove. It's not an OSB board floor like some of the other brands out there. You'll also notice in the new Zinger product the nice rounded wall paneling where they're doing on some of their corners. Back here in the kids room, one of the things you'll see is actually a light switch. It's really nice. You'd be surprised how many brands don't put a light switch on the coach and the kids can't reach the lights. They're having to yell for mom and dad to come turn some lights on. Nice over top bunk here, has a window there. Then we've got our entertainment center below. There's a couple drawers, hanging closets, TV hookups, places for video games. We have a little ladder going up to that one. Then over here on the other side, we have our jackknife sofa, which makes into a bed for the kids. Just below that is also a pull out trundle bed you can pull out. And then we have our bunk over top. There's a couple lights up there as well. And this top bunk will actually raise up and mount so that during the day the kids have some more headroom. You'll also notice a nice sliding pocket door. They're not using cheap curtains like some brands. You'll see the large U-shaped dinette, plenty of room for the family to eat. And in the bottom of these dinettes, we have large pots and pans drawers, one on each side. You'll also notice the freestanding table. This table can be taken outside for an extra little picnic table if needed. It's not permanently mounted in the coach where you can't really function outside with it. We have a large pantry area. All kinds of storage room here.
in the restroom area here, you'll notice you have a foot flush toilet, nice sink height, storage underneath the sink. We have a real wood medicine cabinet, not a cheap plastic one like some brands are using. Couple lights in here. Also have the exhaust fan as well. And also a skylight above the shower. You'll notice the plastic ABS tub surround protecting the shower wall. You'd be real surprised how many brands leave that off nowadays. And we have our Dometic ducted air conditioning and furnace controls here, right in the hallway in the center of the coach. This coach has upgraded lights in the slide out system. Overhead cabinets, which are really nice in the slide out. You'd be surprised how many brands are leaving that out. Also, too, notice the height. Plenty of height in this slide out right here. You can stand up in it really nice. I believe it's six foot, six foot one right in that area. You'll also notice the upgraded nightshades throughout the coach as well too. They do this in the living room area and the adult bedroom area. New entertainment center, rounded corners up to 32 inch TV. We have an Jensen AM FM CD stereo system. Nice adult bedroom area. Large overhead cabinets, hanging closets, TV antenna, carbon monoxide detectors in here. Also have smoke detectors as well. Fire extinguishers. You'll also notice some emergency exits throughout the coach. The bed does raise up for extra storage underneath the bed. The TV area does spin around also. You'll also notice light switch in here for the adult room. You'll also notice they are using pocket doors in the adult room as well too. Again, this has been another video by Couches Campers. If you'd like, take a look at our website, www.couchescampers.com.